Hey, so today I'm going to explore Cloud 3.5 Sonnet as it has been released a few days ago and I have been seeing a lot of good uses um, that people are sharing on Twitter and everywhere. So today we are going to explore that. I have a few tasks already planned. For example, uh, I already have a pricing calculator and I'll be uh, like trying to revamp that calculator using Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. And then I'll be creating a website, kind of a dating profile, a one page dating profile. Then I have some data, CSV data. So I'll be using that to create a um, like simple website. Uh, and then some random game, I'll ask it to create a random game quickly. And we'll see that, like how everything works. So let's get to it. First of all, uh, the pricing calculator. Yes. So let me open my... Yeah, so this is the calculator that I currently have. This is how it looks. It's an old one. Like, as you can see that it only covers GPT-4 and not the latest version after that. So, yeah, this is the basic one. And I'll uh, give the code, the current code to cloud and ask it to generate a good one, maybe uh, like interactive one. So let me, I will click on this add content button and I'll select these two files, which are important like index.html and then gpt script.js. So yes, I have added file and now I can ask. Let's see. The entire page is being generated. Yes, so JavaScript is also uh, being shown the same file. Okay, so yes. Uh, if I put, let's say, I want to generate 10,000 words of content and the prompt length per 1,000 uh, word is 200, let's say. And if I have selected uh, GPT 4.4, 8K version, then my pricing would be this much. If I select 32K, then there is a different pricing. So yes, it does work. And maybe let me use the same code inside somewhere so that it looks good. Let me use it inside code pane. I'll just paste the code in the HTML and then see. So yes, this is the calculator and you can select any model and you, you can see that the price changes right now, like right away. Chat GPT. Okay. Yeah. So this is, this one is successful and maybe I can ask or UI, I, I should have said, but okay, let's see. So right now there are preset buttons, you see, input groups. Okay, the script is coming. Mm, okay, so now we got a slider here, like the number of words, for example, if the number of words are this much. And I, I think now it's a lot better. Actually, we got boxes here and selecting these boxes and the pricing changes below and also animation is there as you can see. So wow, really good. I love it. And oh, okay, there are pre select buttons as well. Like if I click on here, like 50,000 words get selected, 100,000 words get selected, and the slider for this as well. And then pricing like changes accordingly. If I click here, $18. Oh, really good. I think I would keep this code. But anyway, like let's move forward. And we um finish this and the next thing would be to create a simple website like kind of for as a dating profile so let me where do i create a new chat okay i start a new chat from here so yeah then so i let me write something simple initially i want to create a it like just just say this let's see how what happens this is a very simple one like you can put your name here and then tagline then your photo about me let's see what happens now we'll use a more contemporary layout add some animations and improve the overall aesthetics so i hope it will like look a lot better now Hmm. 
Okay, so I see some cards, a bigger image, and some yeah, something better. Let's ask it again. Like I just wrote it, something better, and let's see what it does. Okay, so now it's using React. I'm not sure if the React uh, like this will run in the browser here uh, itself or not. Oh, okay, it does run. Uh, now, now it's definitely better. It looks like uh, like a Tinder profile or something. Uh, the colors are really good now. Uh, buttons like we have like profile, send message, and then interest are here. I, I think it's really, really good. Okay, mm, good. So we got the dating website as well, and. Let's let's move to the next one. Website using the movie data. So I'll start a new chat. I'll add the content. So I have uh, added the CSV file, which contains I think uh, fifteen or twenty movies with some random data points like the runtime and release date or something. So I'll. So what do I ask? Uh, let me ask something like. Okay, let's see. This is kind of a bit longer prompt. Hmm. Okay, again, we are using React. And I think uh, I, I would say that, like, uh, this Cloud 3.5 has been really, really good. Wow. Like, we, <laughs> we have a search box then like you can select title or what you are searching with for example if i select here then it means i'm searching okay okay oh 19 um i don't know let me look at the data i have let's say one movie was launched in 1993 so what happens when i type that 1993 okay. i think there there is some glitch but okay, either way, it looks really good and I can... Okay, so we have images here. Images are not being shown as of now. Hmm. And all the movies have separate cards and I think it filters all the movies when you type here or something. It meant, meant to do that at least. Uh, let me ask something better. But still, it's very impressive and really good as well. Let's wait for it. It should not take a long, lot of time. How fascinating it is. Like, the same thing if I, like, I don't know enough programming and all. But if I start doing this from scratch, I think it would take me a few hours at least to build this. Just this. And we have interactive charts here, which says the timeline. Okay, yeah, this is the timeline uh, and IMDb rating. So, yeah, rating goes up and down. Then we have IMDb rating. Okay, so separate one for IMDb ratings. Then we have genre. Okay, this is good. Like 40% of the movies are drama and 20% of the movies are crime. Or... This is okay. We have a tab as well and here the cards are still there more info i think it it will take to the imd website really really good i'm impressed okay let's move to the next task some random game so this time i'm going to ask it to generate uh, some random game i don't know like what it will generate but let me ask just that like for well, this time i'm just saying that nothing else okay okay so it won't create addictive games because uh it, it could potentially be harmful okay fair enough so let me ask why do i see the previous prompts here all the time i think there might be some issue but either way okay now it agreed Design the game. Okay, what's happening? It has just provided 
as with the concept of the game and not the entire game so okay now it's coding so i think python it's python and it won't run so yeah it won't run in the browser i'll have to install some libraries and all but still like uh, let me ask can okay certainly it will create okay let's, echoes of eternity what what a name we'll use html5 canvas rendering and pure javascript for game logic hopefully it runs what happens like how do i play it uh, okay toggle the recording with the r key you should see a canvas blue rectangle nothing is happening actually Because of the reference, no, it doesn't work. Okay, till then, let me open a new tab and let me ask it to create another game. So this time, I'll be a bit specific. Create a. Let's create a, a space-related game, and till then, anything. What does it? What is happening? I'm just pressing random buttons on my keyboard, and I see something here. Key W, key D, key, and if I press R, then it stops. Echo. Parent action. Okay. Something is there that I don't understand, but it looks does look like a game. I think a very simple one, but yes. Okay, let's see this one. Asteroid Dodger. Oh my God. Like. Oh, okay. i can move it with my uh, left and right arrow keys so let's say how do how does it fire okay no i have to like avoid colliding with these falling objects hmm nice really good game and what happens if i collide game over your score is 336 use left and right arrows to move the space ship wow this is like just with one simple prompt it's giving me a complete game which is like fully functioning great okay. so yes that's it for the video and hopefully i'll be creating another one and uh, do some more tasks and yeah so that's it see you in the next video